just driving through some deep snow, which I probably shouldn't be doing. Uh, yeah, it's so stupid to do this, Mike. I'm just not going to stop and hope I don't get stuck. I can't see, but I'm definitely plowing the road. Be businesses back here. I thought this would be plowed a little bit. this is not going to be the best video. Um, fortunately, I didn't really get a lot of footage of driving in deeper snow. Uh, I did have my son film me pulling in the driveway when we got home. And I made it kind of far, made it three quarters of the way up the driveway. Um, kind of stopped because there's not enough ground clearance. But these tires uh, did pretty well. Um, Definitely tell the difference between all season and not. I'll put a picture up of where my wife's car stopped and where mine did up the driveway. Uh, there's a lot of confidence um, driving in the snow with these tires for sure, even though it's just being front wheel drive. Um, <clears throat> the picture I, I'll first post here is what it looked like at the hotel. Um, the car was quite buried, and then you had to drive out about uh, eight, eight or so inches of snow. Um, I made it out without getting stuck after clearing the, the front of the car away. Um, so, I mean, it did quite well. Uh, a lot of all-wheel drive cars had to, we had to push them, go in reverse, you know, rock them forward and back, and then give them a little push to make it. Uh, <coughs> wife's car's up there too, and same thing. It got, she was a little, little farther back than me, but had to uh, get stuck a, once or twice and had to push it a couple times to make it through, but with these tires and this car, they actually do really well. Um, just for being front wheel drive, uh, can't really complain. Um, pretty decent traction, especially in the snow. Have a lot more confidence in them. Um, I'll post a clip here of me just going down a road I shouldn't have uh, by myself. Uh, for sure not by myself, and it was already gone over, you can tell a couple trucks went through it, uh, but still the center of the snow I'm sure was higher than the front bumper of my car. Uh, so I just kind of didn't stop. I did slow down one time, then said screw it and had to keep going because there's no other turn around. Uh, I'll post that little drive. It probably doesn't look bad on camera, but the snow is probably good. You know, this is probably eight inches or so. It's it probably up there. I was probably clipping it. Um, as you see, there's tons of snow inside the bumper there. So yeah, it was a little, uh, a little dicey. Um, but uh, as far as driving through deep snow in the uh, Firestone weather grips, I would definitely recommend them. I mean, you can see how deep that snow is right there. It's a good, 12, you know, good foot or so. So yeah, so if you have an all-wheel drive SUV and put these Firestone weather grips on there, uh, if you get where it snows a lot, that would be great. A lot more confidence, uh, braking's a lot better, starting red stops a lot better. So um, if you have an SUV and don't want the rugged look, I would go with these tires. If you want a more rugged look, I would go with the Destination AT2s. 
Um, and actually, in my opinion, Destination AT2s are a little quieter on the road because they don't have all these sipes. So this this is a little better in the snow, though. But yeah, these are great tires for the snow, um, even in deep snow like this. I was just driving around some roads that were maybe, you know, three inches, you know, two to four inches of snow on them still. Um, going uphill, no issues at all, yeah, even with just front-wheel drive. So take it for what it's worth. If I wanted a tire I could leave in all year and got snowfall, you know, several times a month, um, I'd probably definitely get these. Uh, I got them because I know I travel for hockey up north a little farther. Uh, around here, it doesn't snow too bad. That's it.